In today's video, I will teach you the basics of Big Monkey. Let's get started. Big Monkey has an advanced set of tools to make your design come to life. You can either start from a blank canvas or simply edit your photo right away. To start from a blank canvas, go to Big Monkey's homepage, click the Edit New Image button, and select Blank Canvas. You have a wide variety of canvas presets for every social media and print, which can be helpful if you're not sure about the standard size for a specific design. But you can also input your custom width and height at the upper right corner of the panel if you would like to start with your own custom canvas size. If you don't know where to start, Big Monkey also allows you to start from a template. Simply go back to the home page, click the Edit New Image button, and select Template. In the Templates library, you have a wide variety of free and premium templates. You can also type in the keyword on the search bar to narrow down your choices. To edit your image right away, go back to PicMonkey's homepage, click the Edit New Image button, and select the source of your file. And once you've selected your image, it will automatically open in the editor. Now, whether you're starting from a blank canvas, a template, or your own image, there are three parts of the editor that would help you achieve the design that you have in mind. First, we have the sidebar, which consists of an advanced set of tools that are very user-friendly. There are four sections in the sidebar. The top section consists of basic elements that you can add to your design, such as text, graphics, images, and drawing. Each option opens a new tab of tools specifically dedicated for the element that you wish to add. The next section of the side panel are the advanced editing tools for effects and customization. This section often changes depending on what element you're trying to customize. If you select the text layer, a new set of text editing tools will show up. Same goes with images and graphics elements. The next section of the side panel consists of tools that you can use to transform elements. The tools in this section changes as well. Lastly, this section is for the orientation tools. Here, you can flip the selected element, rotate it, or delete it. The second part of the editor that you need to get familiar with is the layers panel. Here, you have the background layer that is often locked. If you add a new element, it will be layered on top of the existing layers. Take note that the bottommost layer is the background, and the top layers are going to be at the foreground of your design. You can simply drag the layers up and down to organize it. If you wish to lock a layer, simply hover over the layer thumbnail and click on the lock icon on the right side. Lastly, the third important part of the editor is the menu bar. Here, you can control the overall design of your file. You can make a collage, start with a template, and you can open the themes panel if you're planning on designing something for a specific occasion or aesthetic. Now you know the basics of Big Monkey. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.